Hi and welcome to our latest video where we want to show you all of the latest updates in Microsoft 365. We have some exciting ones to go through so let's get started. Our first update is in Microsoft Outlook and they are bringing out loop components. Now this is really exciting, we already have loop components active on Microsoft Teams and if you haven't already used this before, it allows you to collaborate with your colleagues in real time. You can send through a live interactive object like checklists or a table to your colleagues and you can then instantly start working together in your chats. They are now making this available to use in Microsoft Outlook where we will be able to drop a live component into a message and anyone with it in their inbox are then able to edit and update in real time. This will be available on Outlook Desktop and Web Outlook but unfortunately not for Mac users just yet. The preview for this will roll out in May and then will roll out to everyone starting in July 2022. Next up is navigating to Teams files via OneDrive. Microsoft are adding a Your Teams section to the More Places page to help you easily access all your files in Teams. This will be sorted alphabetically and will allow you to easily find and work with all your files in Teams. This update is due between late April and late May, so it should be with us soon. Our next update is for SharePoint and it is editing video properties. This update will apply to audio and videos that are stored in SharePoint and OneDrive. There are two new options when going into the video settings and these are about and custom thumbnail. If you have your permissions to edit the video, we just need to go into video settings in the top right hand corner. From there we can see a toggle that says about video. This will show users who have access the name and the description of the video which we can also change. Then if we look on the thumbnail there is an edit button where we can edit the thumbnail by moving the seek bar to choose the image that we want to display for this particular video. Simply click select this frame and this will now be the new thumbnail for your video. This update should be available to everyone now. The next update is also for SharePoint and it is a new panel within the site settings. This will enable you to view the history of any site templates applied to a site and related site script actions. To see this, we need to go into site settings and then site information, the view template history. This update is due mid-May, but most of us will receive this by the end of June 2022. Our next update is a Microsoft Teams one and it is setting a meeting status. This one is pretty simple and it allows us to choose our status for upcoming meetings. So let's show you how. If we go into our calendar and right click on the meeting we want to alter our status in, we then want to go into show as where we can then choose whether we appear free, tentative, busy, working elsewhere or out of the office. This is just handy for your team to know where you are whilst you're in your meetings. This update should be already available to everyone. Our sixth update is a Teams one as well, Together Mode for everyone. Together Mode is a great way to have fun with Teams meetings and have a slightly nicer meeting experience. This feature is a great way to ensure everyone has the same experience without relying on people to know how to turn it on. As an organiser or presenter, you can switch on Together Mode and choose a scene. You can then turn on Together Mode for all participants with the tick box on the bottom left hand corner. This will switch everyone's view to together mode, even participants who have just joined. Meeting participants can switch back to the gallery or large gallery view if they want to as well. This update is due late May to mid June. Our last but not least update is for Viva Insights and it is a new inspiration library. This has been added to the Viva Insights app in Teams and is full of insightful articles and videos from sources like Harvard Business Review. The goal for this update is to give us an insight on how to be productive and look after our well-being. This feature has rolled out on Teams on Windows, Mac and Android and should be available to everyone. So that concludes our video for today. Let us know which one of these updates was your favourite. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tricks and industry updates.